Have you ever wondered what happens inside atoms and molecules when they interact with light? How fast do electrons move and rearrange themselves in response to light? And how can we observe and control these ultrafast processes that shape the nature of matter and energy? Well, these are some of the questions that the 2023 Nobel Prize in Physics tried to answer. The prize was awarded to three researchers who developed a groundbreaking technique called attosecond spectroscopy, which allows us to study the motion of electrons in matter with unprecedented temporal resolution. In this video, we will explain what attosecond spectroscopy is, how it works, and why it is so important for advancing our knowledge and understanding of the universe. We will also explore how attosecond spectroscopy can revolutionize many fields of science, especially astronomy, by providing new insights into the structure and evolution of stars, planets, and galaxies. So, if you are curious about the secrets of the quantum world and the wonders of the cosmos, stay tuned and watch this video till the end. To understand what attosecond spectroscopy is, we first need to know what an attosecond is. An attosecond is one billionth of a billionth of a second, or tenth to the power of negative 18 seconds. That's a very short time, so short that it's hard to imagine or compare with anything else. To give you some perspective, let's look at some other time scales that we are more familiar with. For example, the lifespan of a human is about 80 years, or 2.5 billion seconds. The rotation of the Earth around its axis takes 24 hours, or 86,400 seconds. The blink of an eye takes about 0.1 seconds. And the fastest chemical reaction takes about 1 femtosecond, or 10th to the power of negative 15 seconds. Now, an attosecond is 1,000 times shorter than a femtosecond. That means that in one second, there are as many attoseconds as there are seconds in 31 billion years. That's more than twice the age of the universe. So why do we need such a short time scale? Well, because that's how fast electrons move and rearrange themselves in atoms and molecules when they interact with light. Electrons are the tiny particles that orbit around the nucleus of an atom and form chemical bonds with other atoms. They are also responsible for most of the physical and chemical properties of matter, such as color, conductivity, magnetism, and reactivity. Electrons are also governed by the laws of quantum mechanics, which means that they behave both like particles and waves, and they can exist in different states or levels of energy at the same time. When light hits an atom or a molecule, it can excite or ionize an electron from one state to another, or even eject it from the atom completely. These processes happen on the attosecond time scale, which means that we need attosecond pulses of light to probe them. But how do we generate attosecond pulses of light? Well, this is where the Nobel Prize winning research comes in. The three laureates who won the prize are Pierre Agostini from France, who works at The Ohio State University, Ferenc Krauss from Hungary, who works at the Max Planck Institute for Quantum Optics in Germany, and Anne Lehuillier from Sweden, who works at Lund University. They developed a technique that uses intense lasers and nonlinear optical processes to create attosecond pulses of light from longer pulses of light. The basic idea is to use a very strong laser pulse to rip off an electron from an atom and then slam it back into the atom after a fraction of a cycle of the laser field. When the electron collides with the atom, it emits a burst of radiation that contains a broad spectrum of frequencies, including extreme ultraviolet, XUV, and soft X-ray photons. These photons can be combined to form an attosecond pulse of light that can be used to probe other atoms or molecules. Now that we know what an attosecond is and how it is generated, let's see what we can do with it. Attosecond spectroscopy is a technique that uses attosecond pulses of light to study the dynamics of electrons in matter with unprecedented temporal resolution. By measuring the time delay between the emission or absorption of different photons by an atom or a molecule, we can reconstruct the motion and rearrangement of electrons in response to light. This can reveal a lot of information about the nature of matter and the interactions between light and matter. For example, attosecond spectroscopy can measure the time delay between the emission of electrons from different atomic orbitals, 
which are the regions where electrons are most likely to be found around the nucleus of an atom. This can tell us how the shape and size of the orbitals affect the ionization process and how the electrons interact with each other and with the laser field. It can also observe the formation and breaking of chemical bonds, which are the forces that hold atoms together in molecules. This can tell us how molecules react with each other and how they change their structure and properties when they are excited or ionized by light. Most importantly, it can control the quantum states of electrons and molecules, which are the possible configurations of their energy and angular momentum, which can tell us how we can manipulate matter at the quantum level and create new states of matter with novel characteristics. Attosecond spectroscopy can also help us understand some of the fundamental interactions between light and matter, such as the photoelectric effect, the Auger effect, and the Stark effect. The photoelectric effect is when light hits a metal and ejects electrons from its surface. This phenomenon was explained by Albert Einstein in 1905, who showed that light behaves like a stream of particles called photons, each carrying a discrete amount of energy that depends on its frequency. The Auger effect is when an atom loses an inner shell electron and another electron from a higher shell fills the vacancy, releasing a photon or another electron in the process. This phenomenon was discovered by Pierre Auger in 1925, who showed that atoms have discrete energy levels that correspond to their electron configurations. The Stark effect is when an external electric field shifts or splits the energy levels of an atom or molecule. This phenomenon was discovered by Johannes Stark in 1913, who showed that electric fields can affect the spectral lines of atoms and molecules. Moreover, attosecond spectroscopy can also shed light on some of the open questions and challenges in quantum mechanics, such as the measurement problem, the uncertainty principle, and the tunneling effect. The measurement problem is how to explain why quantum systems collapse into definite states when they are observed and what constitutes an observation in the first place. The uncertainty principle is how to explain why there is a limit to how precisely we can measure certain pairs of physical quantities, such as position and momentum or energy and time. The tunneling effect explains why quantum particles can pass through potential barriers that classical particles cannot, such as electrons escaping from atoms or nuclei. Attosecond spectroscopy is not only useful for studying atoms and molecules, but also for studying larger and more complex systems, such as stars, planets, and galaxies. By using attosecond pulses of light to probe their spectra and emission lines, we can gain new insights into their structure and evolution. Spectra are graphs that show how much light is emitted or absorbed by an object at different wavelengths or frequencies. Emission lines are bright peaks in spectra that correspond to specific transitions of electrons in atoms or molecules. By analyzing spectra and emission lines, we can determine the chemical composition, temperature, pressure, density, velocity, magnetic field, and other physical properties of celestial objects. For example, attosecond spectroscopy can help us detect and characterize exoplanets, which are planets that orbit stars other than our sun. By using attosecond pulses of light to analyze their atmospheres and biosignatures, we can determine their habitability and potential for life. By measuring the absorption or emission of these molecules by exoplanets using attosecond pulses of light, we can infer their presence or absence on their surfaces. It can also help us understand the structure and evolution of stars, which are massive balls of plasma that emit light and heat due to nuclear fusion reactions in their cores. By using attosecond pulses of light to study their spectra and emission lines, we can determine their age, mass, luminosity, temperature, rotation rate, magnetic field strength, and other physical properties. We can also study how stars change over time due to different stages of their life cycles, such as main sequence stars, like our sun, red giants, like Betelgeuse, white dwarfs, like Sirius B, neutron stars, like pulsars, or black holes, like Cygnus X1. Attosecond spectroscopy can also help us explore the structure and evolution of galaxies that have collections of billions of stars, 
gas, dust, and dark matter that form the basic units of the universe. By using attosecond pulses of light to investigate their spectra and emission lines, we can determine their shape, size, mass, distance, velocity, rotation rate, star formation rate, metallicity, and other physical properties. We can also study how galaxies evolve over time due to different processes, such as mergers, interactions, feedback, or dark energy. In this video, we have learned what attosecond spectroscopy is and why it is so important for advancing our knowledge and understanding of the universe. We have seen how attosecond spectroscopy can reveal the secrets of the quantum world and the wonders of the cosmos by studying the motion and rearrangement of electrons in atoms and molecules. We have also explored how attosecond spectroscopy can revolutionize many fields of science, especially astronomy, by providing new insights into the structure and evolution of stars, planets, and galaxies. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you next time.